What's up guys? So today's episode is a little bit different because we're going to do a little bit of tech review on the Samsung Gear S3. Now I'm going to go for a quick run and I'm going to go break down exactly how the whole entire run process of the watch is going to look like. Yeah, um, I don't think I'll be able to cover everything in this uh, video because I'm not going to go through every single little aspect but basically just the rundown, alright? KM. Let's go. 2 KM. Okay, there's a lot of cars everywhere. I'm gonna get hit, man. Three KM. It's hard to keep up the pace with all this recording going on. Four KM on this freaking hill. Oh god, let's go. Alright, I'm done. We're gonna review it back home. Alright, and we are back. Okay, so basically let's go through exactly what do you have to do when you're gonna go for a run on this Samsung S3, Gear S3, alright? So basically, first we have to go to the main menu. All right, and then we go into the Samsung Health. So inside here, you're able to see your steps, your floors, your running workout, your heart rate, and all those stuff. But basically, we're just gonna go into here. All right, and inside here, you can choose basically the kind of target workout you're trying to do. So what we did just now was a basic workout because I wasn't trying to track pace or durations or whatnot. So I'm just trying to see exactly how it looks like if you just go for a casual run, right? So in here, you can also choose your kind of activity, but let's just stick to running for this uh, entire video, right? So what happened was that when you press start, it will come down to a timer, and in this timer, it will give you some time to get ready, and then once you start, the timer will start, uh, the time will start, okay? So basically, what happens here is that we have a couple of functions that we can check, right? So if you rotate the bezel to the right, we can see the distance. So at first, we have the duration, the distance, calories, pace, speed, cadence, heart rate, all right? All right, so another thing we can do also is at the bottom part here, right? When you tap on it, you're able to change what you're trying to see. So basically you can adjust it so that you can see two things at once that you want to look at, uh, which is basically if you tap here, you can see your distance with your pace, you can see your calories with your pace, or well, you're not going to see your pace with your pace, right? But basically you want to see something else with your pace, all right? Or anything that, you know, you, you think that uh, it's worth looking at. And by the way, if you guys can hear some kind of uh, purring sound, that's because my cat is beside me, so just ignore him. Anyway, so let's get back to this. So, uh, yeah, so you can adjust two things at once. So that's kind of nifty and that's quite kind of cool. So one of the downsides that I realized about this watch was, was that, okay, right now you can't see this, but I will show you a screenshot of basically what uh, what was happening uh, in the starting part of the video, right? Was that when I was running, my pace was fluctuating a lot. So let's say I was running at five, uh, 553 per kilometers, right? Uh, what happens is that every second, it will fluctuate up and down really quickly. And that is really, really bad for me because I noticed that other watches, like maybe perhaps on Garmin, it's able to show a very constant pace like, okay, 553, then every, every five seconds, it will only go up by two seconds or three seconds depending on your current pace but this one fluctuates a lot and I don't know is it because of the GPS system but it is something to consider right so uh, it's not really very accurate if you just look at the pace every two seconds in this case uh, here's another thing we can do as well if you come back to this menu right and then you go down to here where you can view log and then you can basically see all the running that you've done before and these are just I was just trying out some stuff <laughs> but if you come back uh, if you go into the running log that you just did just now. So inside here, we can see that there's our our pace and our whole entire heart rate. Alright. So you notice at the front here, right? If you can see, 
it kind of dipped down at first and then only goes up because I realized that my GPS doesn't work at the start and I don't know why. So a lot of times I actually ran with this watch three times already. The first two times it did not register my heart rate. No, actually it did register my heart rate. I meant it didn't re register my pace for maybe a good few minutes before it actually does. So in the end, I guess my overall my heart, uh, my heart, pace is not really accurate. So it is something to really look into. Uh, let me show you another example, all right? So, so here's another example that I was running the other day, right? If you look, if you look at the front here, right? It did not register any of my pace. So I, if any of you guys actually ran with this watch before and realized why this could happen at the start, do let me know in the comments, all right? So, I mean, I am still new to this watch, but I'm just giving my feedback regarding what I have seen lately. So anyway, if just by looking at this page here, right, we can see the time that we ran, what's the distance, our kilometers, our calories, our pace versus our heart rate. You know, all our durations and our average pace, our average speed, average cadence and max heart rate. And then also it'll give you a little map of where you have ran. So if you go into the app, right, and you can see, you can basically see the same thing that we are looking at the watch except in a more detailed thing, right? So let's say, for example, you can see here your fastest average speed. You can tap to the right and then you can see your uh, distance. Uh, you can see your heart rate, you know. But the one downside that I can say about this graph here is that it does not show a proper like maybe your altitude versus your speed versus your distance graph, right? It only show more of like a basic graph and there's nothing more you can do about it. You cannot even zoom into it. So it's uh, one of the things that I realized that is a downfall for this watch. But then again, it is just, it is a Samsung Gear S3. It's not made to do only for running. So I guess most of the features that we have inside there is good enough but if you want more uh, in-depth kind of features I don't suggest you get this watch but maybe get like the Garmin brand but if you think that whatever that is displaying right now is good for you yeah you can just stick to this watch it is a very good watch but yeah uh, so basically if you go into the app it will just show you exactly everything that was in here except in a more detailed format all right so that basically wraps up the whole entire review of what I have for running with this Samsung Gear S3. If you guys have any other questions or you guys are curious about certain small features that has never been mentioned on other videos, do let me know in the comment section, alright? And then I will try to answer you guys the best I can. Alright, that will wrap up for this video. I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys. What are you trying to do? All right.